Sharon, you brought the color. No lies about that. Why should we consider bringing some red into our decor? Well, you know what, Tracy? You know how high energy red is, right? Yes, it's vibrating. <laughs> it yeah. is, exactly. And I think that we often want to bring that to a space. We're sometimes scared, but red yeah. is such a stimulating hue. You know, it stimulates our appetite. It stimulates conversation. Mm. It's the color of passion and yes. love, right? Like we associate romantic, intimate dinners for Valentine's Day. We do. With red. But again, it's not just a seasonal color. And I don't think anyone's going to paint their house red because of Valentine's Day. No. <laughs> But mm -hmm. I think it's a really wonderful color when you want to get noticed. So we wear it when you, you know, when you're feeling confident yeah. and you want to bring it into a space that you want to feel energetic in. So I think the dining room is the perfect place if you're ready to experiment with a bold color like red because you're entertaining, you want to stimulate those lively conversations and, and intimate ones, so it's the perfect room. You want to be the house where you have the dinner parties that everyone talks about. And if you have a red wall, people will be talking about your dinner party. As a matter of fact, it making such a statement, I think one of us has to leave. Yeah. Like, is it me? <laughs> the pink or the wall? Who's going to go and who's going to stay? I don't know. It's beautiful. So talk to me about this color uh, that you picked, this red. All right. This particular red is called Embroidered Flower. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, nice. So it's from Benjamin Moore's Color Stories collection. So yeah. it's a collection of complex colors. And I think it feels different with the studio lights. It'll yeah. feel a bit warmer and more intimate um, in most people's homes that don't have studio lights. Yes. <laughs> so it has a lot to it. So I love that it's vibrant, but it's also muted, but kind of somewhere in the middle. So it's yes. that nice combination. And I think it's the perfect backdrop for this lovely IKEA set. It I is. Have. And it's got a bit of pink in it, which it is lovely. It's a bit of pink. So let's talk about this set. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, but it's also like it's muted, so the wall gets to be the star, right? Yeah, you know what, Trace? That's how I like to work with red. Mm -hmm. I like it to kind of be the star and put other things that complement it and not yeah. compete with it too much. So right. I specifically picked this ash veneer table that's got a nice sleek design, but again, the wood is kind of warm, so it works with the red. Yeah. And then also for the furniture, I like to mix and match my chairs a lot in a dining room. It's more playful. Mm -hmm. So for the end, where I would normally flank sort of a statement chair, this time I use this translucent um, acrylic chair for Ikea and it kind of floats and it takes on the color whatever color you have in the dining room it's going to take mm. that color on and then of course you've got the little comfy so you put on. that on. Huh? I put that on. That's, so you can nice. take that. You can wrap yourself up in it. Yeah. You can sit on it. So again, it's sort of minimizing contrast. And then for the main chairs, yeah. um, I went with these awesome Odger chairs, and they're also red, but they're these a little bit cool. darker, aren't they? Great. They're really cozy and comfortable. And again, I really like that fluid shape. Very nice. Well, the, you've got a lot of other elements that play into really nicely um, into this look, like including the rug, yeah. which is super like nubby, and it looks like the sort of thing you just want to roll around on. Absolutely. It's we nice. should take off our shoes and, and get and get the feel for it. I might just do go. that. <laughs> no <laughs> close-up shots of my toes, please. I don't have a pedicure, <laughs> but I just want to feel the carpet. Feel the carpet, nice. Trace. So I think that's really important, again, with red, is that kind of organic feel and natural material. So that's yeah. wool. And even with the table setting, we've kind of gone tone-on-tone -tone glass with light pink. So it's very it's translucent and, and flowy. Yes, and the art as well. And the art as well. Yeah. I think that this is where we've got a little bit of contrast. I don't like to use black and white. Yes. That's a whole other look, and it's more bold and brave. Totally. But I like to, as I said, go with more natural tones. So the white matte is just enough contrast to me. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that sort of organic context of the artwork, again, it kind of feels more natural and brings a more balanced feel to our overall red and lively dining room. Beautiful. Okay, before we get into other kinds of reds to consider, um, I want to talk about the fact that this is the perfect setting for a Valentine's dinner. Right? They only brought this chocolate because they knew I wouldn't come to work unless there was chocolate somewhere <laughs> in the studio. This is where I gravitate towards. Like, what That's a lovely lunch thing. <laughs> right? This is lunch right here. A little bit of bubbly, a little bit of chocolate, and this gorgeous table runner. Right, exactly. That's so, really nice. Now, this I actually custom made, and I use this Beautiful. at my house. It's my holiday It's my holiday theme. But again, I think that it just works perfectly because it's not white and black. It's not strong, but it, it picks up that organic pattern. Yes. Wow. Now, did you want to talk about the other reds? You know what? Did I, you bring your palette? I forgot the palette in I the knew back. It. You can I tell from my face. I'm at her hands. I'm like, she doesn't have them. <laughs> Do you want to just run back there, Diane, <laughs> if you know where they are? That's okay. Well, we're going to talk about them because here's the thing. Some people might see a color like this and think absolutely not. I yeah. cannot do a full red wall. But what you have to think about is all of the different reds that are out there are yeah. sort of tempered in a different way. And you can really see the difference when they're sort of 
put up against each other. So there might be a red for there you. There is a red for everyone. I yeah. think we've got such a variety that you can definitely. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I've been carrying it around all morning. Well, it happens. So Trace, dinner party is one yeah. of my favorites. Oh, so, so this is red. nice. It's like a deep sort of like a, almost like an ox blood red. Exactly. Caliente. Caliente. We know that one. Hot, hot, hot. I love that. I so had to say hot. it like that. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you've got million dollar red. And that's like the Ooh. boldest red that I've ever used. I love that one. But again, it's. I'm it's, running out of fingers. Hold on. Hold okay. On. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Rosy apple. Very nice. Which is a more muted red. I love that yeah. one a lot. And then, of course, we have Benjamin Moore's you color hold that of the one year. So Raspberry blood. But you can really see different. that range. They're all different. And you can use them as an accent, yeah. in a small place, on painted furniture, on a ceiling, anywhere See, you want. We worked it out, girl. Thank you, Trace. <laughs> All good. Sharon, thank you so much.